Hi, my name is Jim. I'm going to talk about the year of Impossible Goodbyes. Uh, there's two subjects, which is one of the events, uh, in, we're going to talk about the events of the book. Um, it's about the, uh, Japan taking over Korea. Uh, and the other subject is um, uh, depictions, and if you don't know what that means, it means uh, about a person and about textual evidence inside and quotes and all that. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with my events. In uh, so in 1945, it's when the book began. Um, like when the like. Uh, there is a man. Uh, th there is a, char a main character called Sukon, who is ten years old, and her gender is female. It's when the Japanese took over Korea, uh, and Hyunsuk, which is Sukon's mother, and father and grandfather, made a newspaper in Manchuria. The newspaper was in Korean. That the Japanese is going to take o overtake Korea. When they come back to North Korea, when they came back to North Korea, the Japanese soldiers cut all the men's top knot. Hyun Sok called their um, called their son's name. Each of them has different meanings, but Sukun's older sister um, has a um, American name called Teresa. Uh, she also uh, now Teresa um, lives with the nuns uh, and. Nuns live in a convent with Teresa. Um, the family was separated because Inchon's older uh, 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 separated with Inchon's older brothers had to go to the labor camp with father. And on uh, and but the rest, which is Inchon's older brother, has to be in labor camp, except for Hyun Suk. On Tiger, Inchon and Sukon has to uh, make snacks for the sock girls. But Kisa has to look after the sock girls. Uh, on June, it was Hyeon's 16th birthday. Hyun Suk uh, went to um, some supplies, uh, went to get some supplies, and she went there barefoot. The next day, Captain Arita came in the next morning and found out that they had a party, so he cut grandfather's beloved pine tree. Later, grandfather got very ill. But Captain Narita never sent a doctor to them, so he never got treated. After that, the Japanese interrogated Grandfather and broke all his nails. Like, like not the, um, like, yeah. Um, so Sukun put lemon oil on Grandfather's nails because it treats the nail, uh, like it helps the nails to get, feel better. Like, after that, the grandfather died, but before he died, he told Yun Sok to let uh, Sukun's uh, and Inchun see what is inside the wooden box. It was a picture of the, uh, their whole family, like father and um, Sukun's older brothers, also Inchun. Um, Captain um, Narita, Yun Sok, and, uh, and told her that Sukun has to go to the Japanese school. Hyun Suk gave uh, Sukon a wooden lunchbox with some delicious food inside, but they had no more rice. So On Tiger and Hyun Suk had to sell their beloved uh, hairpins. Um, mm, but uh, Hyun Suk, a hairpin um, was really precious to her. Captain Narita gave rice to them, but it was mixed with uh, sand. Kisa went to the convent and found out, uh, found out that the Japanese soldiers has uh, f uh, fell back, uh, fall back. Kisa told the whole family, but no one went outside because there was still there was still some Japanese soldier outside. The Russians took over North Korea, but uh, not South Korea. Either they took uh, they took the North Korean children, they brought them to the Russian school. The Russians made the kids tell secrets from their parents by blackmailing them with cookies or snacks because they were really hungry. They also gave them some propaganda. Propaganda means uh, some. Yeah, I think it was. It means uh, false information. Um, 
because of the children's parents uh, get uh, got in trouble they ran on way home he told them to sleep because they they're gonna leave to South Korea but they need to listen to the man every step of the way they woke up then they left with some man everybody followed them except for the soccer girls because they weren't a part of this Kisa and Aunt Tiger stayed in North Korea but Sukun and Incheon also Hyunsuk uh, uh, went to South Korea because they want uh, Kisa and Aunt Tiger want uh, them to um, be safer to go to South Korea uh, the Russians used a metal detector on them, but Hyunsuk looked a little suspicious, so they took Hyunsuk. And if you forgot who Hyunsuk is, it's Sukon's mother. Sukon uh, was all alone with um, Incheon. They had no food, so they had to beg other people for food. Um, and their foot hurts, and both of them, mostly Incheon. Later they made it in South Korea. They saw his father and brothers. They had to go to the hospital to treat their feet. And um, his um, <coughs> Inchan's older brother has this serious disease. Um, uh, yeah. And they waited for Hyun Suk um, for six months. Then she um, she came back. Mother explained what happened. And I'm done. I'm finished with my events. Um, now I'm going to talk about the year of impossible goodbyes, the depictions. Um, I'll start with my textual evidence. Um, he, he paced out the yard, his sword hanging out the small wiry frame, his thick gold rimmed glasses. As you can see, he has thick gold rimmed glasses. Um, um, magnified his cold probing glance. The sun reflected off the handle of his sword. He also has a sword there. Um, the rims of his glasses and his gold red epaulets. Epaulets are these. It's where um, captains wear, not soldiers, but maybe sometimes they were, but yeah. Uh, glasses and a, a smile played upon his lips as he examined his, uh, as he examined as his lips, as he, mm, and yeah. And what people said, um, People said to Captain Narita that he is a cruel man. Captain Narita done uh, this all the time in Korea. And I'm going to explain my quotes. Um, then you make sure that all the girls make their offerings to our heavenly emperor and pray for the defeat of the white devils. So the heavenly emperor is a Shinto god. And I think the white devils is uh, America. I think the army of America. You should all be proud and honored that it is now your turn to serve our heavenly emperor. You will give the soldiers the special spirit to um, fight harder against the white devils. When the war is over, you can plant the whole yard with flowers. Um, yeah, and then I'm finished. And th by the way, this is Captain Narita, if, you, if I did not say it. Okay, thanks Jim.